Good afternoon. This webinar is the importance of ongoing VR services for individuals with autism in Project Search. My name is Mark Peterson, and with me is Rebecca Glazebrook. We're both from Virginia Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services, which is the VR program in Virginia. Rebecca Glazebrook and I have worked for many years with individuals having autism through our vocational rehabilitative services in Virginia, both through our community services and in particular through our project search settings we have both become very interested in long-term follow-along services with individuals who are working for one, two, three, or even four years, and how supports have evolved the longer a person has been employed. The, we've noticed, and this is a good thing, this is a, a great thing, uh, we've noted that there's a shift from systematic instruction to skills building and supports around non-work skills necessary for a person to maintain employment. We've noted that there can be skills building in home and community, and these support the person's workplace maintenance skills. We've noticed that there are supports to make and strengthen community connections. We've been able to focus with individuals that have been long time employed on safety supports to make sure that health and safety uh, is also maintained. And lastly, all of this has impacted building relationships. All of this feeds into the individual establishing more relationships in their work and community. Some of the key themes that Rebecca and I will be giving examples of uh, are these kinds of scenarios. Uh, number one, use a team-based approach. We use multidisciplinary teams and we're able to pull in members for consultation uh, when we need them. Also, work with the individual's strengths and how they learn. So individual strength-based types of uh, uh, services. Number three, providers with expertise in autism. Persons with autism have unique strengths and needs. And one of the themes that we've noted is that individuals with autism uh, who individuals who have uh, experience at working with uh, persons with autism uh, are more familiar with uh, different key features and, and ways to be able to uh, uh, successfully proceed. Intervention types, timing, sequence, intensity of long-term supports are all important. Consultation and supports. Using this multidisciplinary approach, you may pull in persons that are uh, experts in assistive technology, benefits analysis, uh, for example, behavioral specialists, depending on what the scenario is. And Rebecca will talk a lot about the counselor's involvement in post-employment or reopening a case. So in VR services, depending largely on the intensity and the changes in the long-term follow-along supports, the VR counselor makes decisions about post-employment uh, services or reopening the case. And the counselor may need to make those decisions. So staying involved in the process is extremely helpful. Let's do a quick review of stability. Here are some of the indicators that you would be looking for that indicate the individual has mastered the core components of their job. Job coaching and related interventions have decreased to a level necessary to maintain employment. Intervention has reached a plateau or leveled. In some cases, the amount of intervention, in other words, time on site, may not have increased, but the nature of the intervention has evolved to primarily 
maintenance mode. The individual with autism is emotionally or behaviorally stable with or without support. The employee is performing expected job duties. The employee is satisfied with the job and work and the work environment and the supervisor reports satisfaction with the employee's performance. Necessary modifications to the job and the job site and accommodations have been accomplished. The employee has reliable transportation to and from work. The employee meets no, the employment meets and exceeds all ingredients for competitive integrated employment. And lastly, funding and long-term follow-along supports have begun. When individuals are employed longer and longer, we can make a shift to soft skills development. Some of the areas to focus on which have the greatest generalization are communication and social skills, self-advocacy skills and independence, improving hygiene, which is critical, skills for post-secondary success so that if the individual moves on, they are equipped, organization and time management, and travel training. And now Rebecca will provide several actual examples of how ongoing VR supports and involvement have helped individuals with autism increase their competencies at work and in life. Rebecca? Thanks, Mark. I'm Rebecca Glazebrook with the Virginia Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services, and I serve an adult caseload in one of the counties that surrounds Richmond City. You know, often our clients master their job duties and expectations fairly well with the assistance of their job coach. After intensive training and transitioning to follow along, all appears to be going well and DAR's case closure follows. Sometimes the real issues occur after case closure when an individual gets comfortable in their position, feels more at ease and relaxed with the environment, and may even model poor behavior from their coworkers. This is when a call to their DARS counselor is appropriate. A team meeting should be held to discuss the details and determine how to move forward to resolve the issue and maintain employment. Opening the case in post-employment services to correct a minor issue or totally reopening a case to provide multiple services can be determined at this time. One common problem that usually results in PES or reopening a case is difficulty with soft skills. An individual may observe coworkers participating in inappropriate behaviors or behavior that is appropriate only at, during certain times of the day, such as when work is slow. Our clients may not have the judgment skills to determine when or where this behavior is acceptable or if it's acceptable at all. This causes issues with their work performance. They may also just relax and become comfortable with the position and environment and backslide into old or inappropriate behaviors without the constant instruction from their coach. At this point, a team meeting should be held to discuss what the problems are and how to best address the situation. Often returning to a period of consistent, intensive training by their coach will get the client back on track and the case can return to follow along. A similar concern is one of personal social interaction or personal boundaries. Again, once someone is comfortable in their position, keeping those personal boundaries with supervision and coworkers can be difficult. Participating in workplace drama is often easy to get caught up in and can take over a client's workday. In these situations, human resources and management may be involved, making the need for immediate services urgent. Counseling and guidance, working with the employer to devise acceptable solutions, and intense work through a therapeutic behavioral service, such as positive behavioral supports, may be successful in assisting the client with maintaining their job. Maintaining employment can be difficult. Being in a position for an extended period of time may create situations which cause frustration. It's this way for everyone. 
Our clients who have difficulty with coping strategies may not be able to handle these feelings or ask for assistance in managing their frustration. This may result in aggressive or inappropriate behaviors. In these situations, immediate action is necessary. Meeting as a team with human resources or management and implementing intervention from the coach to extinguish or at least manage the behavior until a specialist can be brought in is crucial. As this is taking place, involvement from a positive behavioral support specialist is key. It's also very important to discuss this type of situation with your client and their coach to try to build strategies for coping with situations at work so that they may maintain their employment. Reopening, or PES, doesn't occur only in negative situations, though. Many of our clients are excellent employees and are given new duties to expand their responsibilities. Maybe there are new company procedures that they need assistance in learning. These can easily be taught and built into their current routine by having their coach provide intensive training. Once these tasks are mastered, the coach fades out and the client returns to a follow-along and maintaining their employment. As an individual tackles employment and becomes comfortable with becoming a working adult, they often are ready to move forward with their independence. This is seen when a client would like to learn to drive or take the bus to work. In these instances, the case can be reopened or opened in PES to assist with the driving evaluation and training if appropriate, or have the coach provide travel training to learn the city bus route or the walking route to work and home. These are exciting steps for our clients, which enhance their daily lives outside of the workplace as well. As with anyone who is employed, time will tell if the job is a good match. What we sometimes see with individuals who have difficulty coping is that they do well initially and it seems that the job is a good fit. Then after time, the inability to cope with their anxiety, frustration, or just general job site stress will lead to an inability to satisfactorily perform their job. If this occurs, retraining isn't always your answer. Sometimes the placement just isn't a good match. The team should discuss the situation with the individual and assist them with resigning appropriately. This will save their work history for future employment. The team and client can then learn from the situation and work towards replacement if this is desired. As with all of us who are employed, after a period of time, boredom sets in, or one may feel up to the challenge of a new position. In these instances, the team needs to look at advancement or other open positions with the client's current employer. This is a natural progression with management who is familiar with the client. If this is not possible, assistance with looking for another position outside of their company may be considered. This is a situation where the case would be reopened and the client would be provided vocational counseling and supported employment while they maintained their original position. Once a new position has been accepted, the coach can assist with giving proper notice to the original employer. These are just some examples of instances that may occur after an individual is closed and considered successfully employed. Maintaining employment then becomes the crucial factor. Through open communication and team meetings and in-depth discussions between coach, client, and counselor, it is important to learn all you can about the situation that is endangering job stability. Through collaboration with team members and commitment from the client, services can be put in place to maintain employment or to make the appropriate employment decisions. These services could be, but not limited to, counseling and guidance, training from a job coach, meetings and advocacy with an employer, therapeutic behavioral services, securing or creating natural supports, assistance with finding another job, or advancement within the current workplace. Mark? In summary, Rebecca and I would like to offer these final thoughts. Successful employment, especially over time, means learning the value of others and personally feeling valued and being able to put that in some context. It's learning about teamwork and most importantly, it's building ongoing relationships. Unfortunately, a high percentage of individuals with autism have experienced trauma and haven't, earned, haven't learned to trust easily. Conversely, 
The opposite reaction may also be true. Individuals are overly trusting. You need to be aware of this in your approach. Some individuals with autism we have worked with may not seem to respond to praise because of prior difficulties with other people. So as a team member, you may need to work harder at connecting. We certainly hope this information has been helpful and thank you for your attention.